African nations are now amongst the fastest growing economies in the world. In Sub-Saharan Africa, sustainable economic transformation led by rising levels of intra-African trade has the potential to make the region a leading frontier market. The North-South Rail Corridor is one of the key programs creating an enabling environment for regional integration and trade in the SADC region. This program has the potential to create economic opportunities through its alignment to the SADC Infrastructure Development Master Plan and the SADC Industrialization Strategy. The North South Corridor Rail uh, Project has been endorsed by the highest policymakers uh, in the region. It was uh, approved by the ministers responsible for transport and they agreed that let's have this as a pilot project. Uh, and the, the same has been uh, considered at the tripartite level. Uh, the same has been considered at uh, the, the African Union Commission level. So in terms, of, in terms of ownership or commitment, we have no doubt. The North-South Rail Corridor consists of just under 4,000 kilometers of rail network running from the mining district of Kolwezi in the Democratic Republic of Congo to the port of Durban and Richards Bay in South Africa. The North-South Corridor is a backbone transport system into the hinterland and obviously back to the ports. The rail transport, once it's um, uh, rehabilitated and upgraded, will offer a, a cost-effective solution such that our exports will be competitive on the world markets. Similarly, our inputs, as we input and uh, transport them inland, will land at a much cheaper cost and hence reduce cost of production. The bulk of goods in Southern Africa are currently transported using roads. However, Best practice dictates that the use of rail is a better option for the transportation of bulk goods over long distances. Uh, road maintenance costs are increasing every day. Road life is reducing every day and safety is compromised. Over the years, the rail operators along the corridor have been making significant efforts to improve the railway service. More recently, through the NSC program facilitated by the NEPAD Business Foundation, the rail operators and other stakeholders came together to collectively develop and roll out a series of targeted initiatives in order to optimize, rehabilitate and upgrade the rail corridor. We were saying if we do it right, we get our act together, we'll then be able to now take that as lessons learned and develop the regional railway master plan. The CEOs of the rail operators have been instrumental to the success of this project. Without their level of commitment, um, dedication, also allocating technical teams to this process, we would not have seen this amount of uh, leverage and collaboration. The railway operators now will work together, bring them together to work seamlessly. That's, I think, that's the most important thing. What is different now is that um, we've defined the way we used to operate. Now we are talking to each other, engaging each other in planning together and ensuring that we are in constant contact for the benefit of you as a customer. CEOs are now getting involved in the interface with customers and I believe uh, if we go in that direction then we'll be able to enhance the customer experience and uh, deliver more in terms of what the customers expect. The initiatives from the North-South Rail Corridor program focus on the following key objectives. Implementation of a scheduled railway service that will improve turnaround times and predictability. Injection of new and rehabilitated rolling stock that will improve reliability and performance. Rehabilitation and upgrade of infrastructure that will improve safety and capacity border post efficiencies that will streamline processes and reduce transit times. And finally, an overhaul of the customer service approach. I think one of the most exciting things that we've done recently is establish a scheduled railway service between two points, one in South Africa, one in Zambia. This gives our customers the kind of predictability that they've told us they want. We see this corridor, uh, this north-south corridor, as, as an integrated corridor with one investment plan 
one infrastructure plan and one operating model uh, whereby all five operators are actually working from a, an agreed upon uh, model. In fact, what we have told the customers who are skeptical, one of the fears they have if we, as a railroad capacity to do this. What we are telling them that it's not only a railroad, we, shall, we have to work together with the road and forward us. So we are suggesting inland dry ports in Zambia, which should be able to interface the railway and the forwarders and the road to be able to deliver door-to-door -door service to the customers. The two other components that remain critical for the success of the North-South Rail Corridor are the buy-in from the customers and investors. Our customers can expect uh, better turnaround times, uh, seamless service, meaning uh, the one-stop shop concept is what we're trying to do, that the customer does not have to interface with uh, different um, rail administrations, but rather just the one administration. Dans le cadre même des cette étude et comme objectif, donc nous essayons de rassurer notre clientèle que des mesures sont en cours pour la mutualisation des moyens. Donc nous pouvons assurer la disponibilité du matériel, l'acheminement rapide et aussi pour garantir le transit time, donc la réduction du transit time au niveau des frontières. The message I have for the customers that we are already working together as railways in the corridor. We are already uh, discussing hiring of equipment from each other. We have already identified what's the strength of Zambia railways, what's the strength of Zimbabwe, what's the strength of Africa, and where shortfalls are, are, are identified. We are trying to harmonize how we can use each other's equipment, basically to increase the capacity in the corridor. I see that the, the end game of the North-South Corridor is one integrated plan to promote regional integration. The implementation timelines for the targeted initiatives under this program range from immediate term interventions such as operational levers to the long term interventions such as large scale infrastructure upgrades that will be implemented over time. The end goal of all these initiatives is to develop a seamless, safe, predictable, reliable and competitive railway service. Join us on this journey towards enhancing the SADC region's prosperity. The North-South Rail Corridor is our transport network. It belongs to you and me.